my boys, we have a wonderful machine in our possession, having a totally full explore the full potential of this miraculous machine. We shall tell no one. Hello. Welcome to the wonderful world of random sequencing. Now today, I'm going to be explaining the 2131 sequence, which is equal to 15. I also am going to be explaining the 3 is equal to 11. And I'm going to be explaining also the 24 statement. It, it's, the, it's called the 20, um, two form statement. So the 24 is equal to the two form, two form statement. I also will be talking about the zero zero, which is equal to the C statement. All right, so we here we have a lot of numbers. These are all sequences and they start from the left and go to the right. Here's the next sequence, next sequence, next sequence, next sequence, next sequence, and it goes on and on and on, all right? So, this is the first sequence. It starts off with 21. And so we don't know what the environment that we are into um, that's being played out at the time. So this is the first sequence. So we let it, we let the second uh, sequence play out. And it lands to a 31. So now we have a relationship. Uh, the 21 and 31. Now, uh, the 21 plus the 31 is equal to 51 which is equal to 15 now I'm going to explain why that is because the 21 carries the statement two ones and two ones is one one and the three ones is equal to three ones which is one 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 and if you add all these ones, you get five ones. Here's one one, here's two ones, this is three ones, this is four ones, and this is five ones. So how do you write five ones? You type a five and a one, and you get five ones. All right. But uh, there is no cell that represents five one. So how do you represent five one? By putting a 15. It's a reverse sequ sequence. Okay. So as you go on here, you, you know, we don't know what the next sequence is. We're expecting it to be played out, you know, uh, the 15, but it didn't happen, right? And if it's going to happen, it might happen here, and it might happen here, because it's a half step away, and a half step away here, and it's also a half step away here. But Mother Nature has, a, uh, has another plan. So, um, as you got, you, we have the next sequence here, that's the 32, and what happens is that uh, there's a relationship here that plays out. It's all related to the 32, but we're not going to explain that right now because we don't want you to give you information overload, especially if you're learning random sequence, sequence for the very beginning. So, after this sequence, we landed on a 34. Okay, now the 34 could be a theme to be played out. Uh, it's followed by the state, the 24, which carries the statement, uh, two form. The two form statement means that it's going to create a 34 within two cells. So if that's the case, we know that if it's a 3 and a 4, that'll make 30, uh, 34, right? Because it says it's going to create it in two form, which means two cells. So this statement means two form. So a three got played out here, and then a four followed, right? So um, we still haven't got the 15 sequence, which we're kind of expecting, right? Um, so these numbers get played out, and you know, and we end up here <coughs> where we have the 20. And the 20 is equal to the 0, 0. Why is that? Because the 20 carries the statement two zeros. And what is two zeros? Zero, zero. So what followed here is the 0, 0. So we still have not seen the 15 played out. So why hasn't it? Because what happens here is Mother Nature doesn't make it that easy. And what it does 
Mother Nature does is that it creates a statement. This is a statement that links to this cell here. And so what what is the statement here? Okay, the number 3 is equal to the binary 11, right? Okay, so what is the binary 11? Well, the binary 11 is the 1-1, one, one, which is the equal statement, like in mathematics, right? 2 plus 2 is equal to, you know, so it's an equal statement, right? So this equals is equal to this equal. So we have an equal statement here. And then we have the 0, 0, which basically, the 0, 0 carries the C statement. The C is two eyes as you're seeing something, right? So it's the C statement. Also, the 8 is also equal to, an, uh, the 0, 0 is also equal to an 8 symbolically. This is for future references, so keep that in mind, that the 0, 0 is also equal to an 8. This is a falling down 8, and this is a standing up 8, okay? So, but in this case, we're more interested in the statement. So now we have the equals. So we have 21, 31, and we know that to be equal to 15. So this is the equal statement, and then it's followed by the C statement. So now it's, it's, it allowed itself to extend ver, uh, vertically down, right? So now, after, once you see the C statement, then you get the payload. Mo in most cases, when, when a sequence gets extended, once you create the C statement, it's the next sequence. So the payload of this equation is going to be right here. And so... It didn't, you know, so you can't play 51, so you have to play out the 15, because there is no 51 when it comes to roulette, because it has to be a single cell. So it's expressed as a 15. So that's pretty much uh, the relationship with the 2131, and the 3 is equal to a, a statement, which uh, is it's the equal statement, it's the 1 1 binary. It's right there. And then you got the C statement that allows it to extend. And then I said that once you see the C statement, right, the payload is right there. The next cell is just a half step away. And uh, what else? Um, the two form statement, it means that it's going to be two cells. And if you read the sequences right, right, so in other words, if you see that this is the theme to be played out, and it's telling you it's going to be in two cells, then you know it's going to be a three and a four. Now, here's the thing. Uh, let's say you didn't, you didn't capture the sequence, right? In other words, you didn't figure it out. And then you look at 3 here. It lands on a 3. And then you kind of go back and I go, wait a minute. Oh, equal 34, 2 form. You know, that 34 could be uh, a theme to be played out. And there's a 3 there. You know what? I'm going to follow it with a 4. So that now now you got to make up the the fact that you didn't play this sequence. So you, you really got to, uh, you know, play the 4 for sure. And um, try to make... Uh, the difference <laughs> and folks as always please click the subscribe button below show some love give me some thumbs up i have links below with paypal and patreon and i will see you on the next wonderful world of random sequencing